kid, it's your boy Michael with H&M Limousine. The 2004 Cadillac DeVille is dead again in 21 inches of snow we received last couple days. Let's see what the voltage is. We got 7.2 volts in this battery. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, I tried with the GB70 from NOCO, however, I didn't get much luck with that, so let's try. Let's try the good old Hulkman 10.0. Let's see if that'll work. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to 10.0. Boom. We're going to hook it up here. Boom. Here's one. Actually, I'm going to turn this guy around. Okay, boom. And boom. Okay, let's see what it does. Okay. okay, it's showing. It's showing the battery is too dead. Let's push these two buttons to override the system. Now it's saying ready. Let's give it a whirl and see what happens. It would be nice if it starts. That's the whole object of these jump starters. And the light looks like it's on actually. <laughs> car started right up with a 10.0. It's amazing. The GB70 didn't quite have enough power to do it, but the whole thing 10.0 had enough power. So immediately shut your unit off. Okay, let's see what the voltage is now. Okay. See what we got here. Can you get a start up? Give me a second, guys. Bear with me. Just hooking up the uh, leads again. Okay, we got 7.3 volts. Okay, 7.3 volts. You see it, right? Everything's hooked up. I just shut the car off. Now, let's, for shits and giggles, let's hook up the NOCO GB70. Okay? Bear with me, guys. Okay. I'm gonna hook it up to here. Hang on a second. Fortunately, though, they're very short cables, obviously, as we know. Okay, everything is hooked up. Obviously, this is not chasing, so the battery is completely dead. You gotta hit the override button. Ah, that's weird. But maybe I wasn't touching it because of my glove. Huh, is it on? Hang on a second. Let me shut this off real quick. Okay, and now it is. That's what it was. I'm sorry. It's my fault. That's human error. That's my fault. Now let's start the car up and see what happens. This is the NOCO GB70. Okay. All right. Let's go to start it. Nothing. Totally dead. Totally dead. Shut the car off. Now. Okay. Let's take. See, it's still chasing. Okay, let's shut this off. Take the clamps off. Okay. Now. We are going to do the Hawkman 10.0 again. Just to show you that there is a difference, you know, there's a difference between these things. This is the 10.0. This is the good, the, the good one. Okay, let's turn it around. Okay, 86%. Okay. Now it's beeping because there's very low battery or no battery. Push these two override buttons. It says ready. Okay. Let's go back in the car and see what happens this time around. Off the bat, I don't see anything really happening yet. Car started right up. Car did start right up. It took an extra half a second. Now we're at 80% on shutting the machine off. Boom, that's it. Okay. 
Hey guys. Well, if that's not proof, I don't know what is. It goes to show you that these units, I mean, to be fair, this Noco was a great unit, the GB70. It just didn't have quite enough power to jumpstart this big V8 2004 with the North Star system, the Cadillac. But the Hoffman 10.0 had the power to do it. I'm assuming I also have the Hoffman 85S. Shall we try another test? Let's try another test. Let's shut the car off once again. Okay. Okay. See? Shut the car off. Let's see. Click. Do you hear the clicking? Okay. All right. Let's close the door. It was in the ignition. And I actually got a, um, I got a, a remote start put in about a year ago. And unfortunately, that's when the problems kind of started. It's kind of weird, but. Okay, guys, this is the uh, new one, the Hawkman 85S, okay? Let's just give it a whirl on this one, because this is the equivalent to the NOCO GB70. So to be fair, let's give it a little, you know, give it a shot. Because the 10.0 is obviously more powerful, so it's not really fair to, you know. Okay, here's the other one. Okay. Unit out real quick. Bear with me, guys. Okay, these go in one way, obviously. Okay, now this is the 8.5 right here. Okay, boom. Let's see what we have here. This is the 8.5. Let's see what happens. Nine. Okay, it's showing it's a totally dead battery once again. Push both buttons. Okay. It says ready. It says ready 99%. Okay, let's try it again. This is the 85S from Hawkman, not the 10.0. I don't see the light coming on. Wait, let me. Bear with me one sec. I want to make it fair. I didn't see the light. Okay, hang on a sec. At 94, 93, okay. 93. But don't go off. Yeah, it just went off. No, it stayed on. Okay. Let's see if it starts. Yeah, I don't see the light coming on. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay. Wow. How about that? The Hulkman 85S also started the Cadillac. There it is, 90%. Set the unit off. Unhook it. Okay, I didn't, honestly, I didn't think it was going to start it. But, that goes to show you the NOCO GB70, it was totally fully charged, could not get the job done. The Hulkman 10.0 got the job done, and the Hulkman 85X got the job done on this V8 Cadillac North Star system. Give it a couple minutes here. That's incredible, huh? Wow. So, yeah, the uh, NOCO GB70 and the Hulkman 85S have equivalent to the same power, they say, the 2000 peak amp, and that kind of proved it. And then I showed you the voltage, now let's, let's see the voltage now. Let's give it one last test. Oops, I'm going to throw my ass out here. I really don't want to. Okay, hold on a second. Fifteen point one. Fifteen point one volts. Alright. Guys, I don't know how much more proof you need. When I was actually doing this video, just to give NOCO their props too, because I actually thought the Hulkman 85S was not going to start this vehicle either. But, you saw it, it did it. 
So, if you like what you saw with this video, smash the like button, give it a big old thumbs up. Boom! Hit it hard, baby, hit it hard. All right, click that subscribe button, click the bell icon, and click all so you never miss an upcoming video. And again, this is Michael with H&M Limousine. Peace out. Happy New Year.